sugar. It's part of a balanced diet. All right, guys, it is October, and that means that the best time of the year is coming around. That is right, it is Halloween coming up, where all the stores start selling way too much ridiculous candy. So I've got a couple of bags of candy. I've got so much more. Oh my goodness, even more candy. Why bother trick-or-treating? I'm a grown-up, I can just go to the store and buy a bunch of freaking candy. All these ridiculous bags of candy, holy crap. We have a 10 ounce bag of 100 grand. Excellent. Crunch chocolate bars. Woo! We have Kit Kat bars, a jumbo bag, 20 ounces. Almond Joy, one of the worst candy bars out there, but still got some, because why not? 10.2 ounces of uh, mm, Butterfinger, mm, fun size. Twix, we have uh, left and right jumbo bag Twix. I could put this in a bowl. This is a great idea. This is a great idea. And if I continue to say that to myself, I might actually start believing it. Well, Halloween is right around the corner. That's when everybody eats too much candy and everybody starts dressing up in their sexy costumes. I don't think I'm gonna dress up, as you guys can tell. Here we go, here we go, guys. It is that time of the year, and since I am an incredible competitive eater, that means that I must eat as much candy as I can in one sitting. So, I have in front of me a bowl, a giant bowl of trick-or-treat candy. These are fun size, small size, extra fun, because I can eat so many of them. Franken cups, it's, it's Halloween themed, Frankenstein and use. I don't know if they taste like Frankenstein or if they're just Frankenstein colored or maybe they actually made Frankenstein peanut butter cups where they like took different peanut butter cups and smashed them all together. I'm gonna see how much of this Halloween candy I can take down. This is 175 pieces of Halloween trick-or-treat candy. Uh, it comes up to just about six pounds, right around six pounds. I don't know exactly. Go with the calorie count. Uh, yeah, you're shit out of luck. I'm not gonna give you the calorie count. Here, it's gotta be like 2,000 grams of sugar or something like that. It's probably around 10,000 calories or 12,000 calories, because it usually is. Uh, anyway, you know the deal. Wish me luck, guys. And we're gonna use the analog timing device. And let's get, uh, get chomping. Let's start with some Almond Joy. Oh my gosh. Ah. Gotta love cheap candy. This video brought to you by SodaStream. Not really. I got a SodaStream because I got tired of lugging carbonated beverages from the store. So now I just make my own fizzy water, bubbly water. Mm, delicious. You know, I guess all of my videos are technically brought to you by water. So I do drink quite a bit of water. There you go. I guess, um, these recent peanut butter cups are green. I was going to make a joke about uh, green food being healthy, but uh, this doesn't look like the kind of green that is really healthy food. All right. I should probably get through these 100 grand first. They are so chewy. It's hard to decide which of these is gonna be more difficult to get through. Chocolate caramel, these Twix, or the 100 grand with all their stuff in them, Butterfinger that just stick to your teeth. I don't know. I was not super strategic when I got this selection of candy. Ah, ah, yes. All the Twix are on the bottom. If I haven't had too many of those. Should Kit Kats count as one bar or two? I don't know. Then again, I haven't exactly been keeping count of how many of these things I've eaten so far. Hopefully you have. <laughs> Phew! 
Oh, I can kind of feel that pressure in my stomach. Oh. All right, a poll of the audience. Who actually likes Almond Joy? <laughs> Does anyone really like Almond Joy? It is a coconut and almond chocolate candy bar. <laughs> I don't know any kids that like coconut. Like, I think they're fine, but <laughs> kind of a weird texture, kind of a weird flavor. Oh. Mm. Whatever happened to the peanut butter Twix bars? Those would be so much easier to eat than these things. <laughs> Caramel is too dang chewy for the speed eat. <laughs> mm. Kind of move things around in the tummy. Mm. Oh. We'll loosen up that belt a little bit. Oh. Gives me a little bit more room to work with. <laughs> oh. That was definitely a jaw workout. Ah. My face muscles are going to be so jacked after this. <laughs> uh, I didn't mention that it is currently 88 degrees outside, even though it's October. <laughs> I've eaten way too much candy. <laughs> I think I'm slowing down a little bit. What? Oh, man. And it is hard to describe my professionalism. Ugh. Kind of gross, actually. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> this is starting to get hard, guys. <laughs> I've probably got only 40 pieces left or so. <laughs> oh man, this is dumb. Oh. Okay. Let's keep going. I can do it. I can do it. Mm. Positive self-talk. Starting to get a little bit lightheaded. Like I might have had a little bit too much sugar. Oh, okay, come on. I don't know how many more of those hundred grand bars I can take. It's just too much chewing. I really hope there aren't any left. Oh no! At least one. And then a couple of Twix bars. And a Butterfinger. And another Twix bar. Oh. Alright, I think that's going to be the biggest challenge here on out. Oh. 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 Mm. Don't tell anyone, I almost ran out of time. Okay. Hmm. So I think this thing is approximately 30 minutes. So that gives you a rough idea of how long I've been here. I know that chocolate is supposed to be toxic to dogs, but like, I think with this much top chocolate, it's just gonna be toxic to anything. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is like a lethal dose of chocolate. Mm. Oh. oh right, it's because I'm gonna eat you once you're out of that package. Oh. I feel like I've been eating candy for like seven years. Oh my god. Why is this bowl not getting empty? Is this some kind of magic trick? Is there somebody pouring more candy into this thing? I... <sighs> okay, come on. This is the Zeno's paradox of candy bowls. Mm. Oh, I really want to take a nap. Oh my gosh. Sugar crash. It is so real. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh. Oh. I 
should probably be saying something or talking, but I am just too dang lit right now. Oh, oh okay, come on. Not too much further. Oh my god, final stretch, come on. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> Legit, I'm not sure if I can finish this thing. Yeah, I think I gotta tap out. This is <laughs> this is getting this is getting real, guys. What have I got left? Eight of these almond joys. Oh. One, two, three, four crunch bars. Oh my gosh, seven. Seven Kit Kat bars and four Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's 23 pieces of candy remaining. Oh, let's see. Oh, my gosh, come on. Why is this so hard? <laughs> this is so difficult. Oh. Yeah, I gotta tap out, guys. I am... Oh, my God. I am... Dunzo. <laughs> I'm completely done. Oh. oh, the big, giant, friggin' bowl of candy defeated me this year. Oh, man. Yeah, it was all my joys. Just, whew, man, I think I already tried to eat another one. I don't think it would stay down, gonna be honest. <laughs> oh. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed it a little bit more than I did. The first bit was okay. The middle part was, was pretty good, too. And then at the end, it kind of went downhill for me. <laughs> That's alright. It's all expected. Oh, my gosh. Well, kids, this is not part of a balanced breakfast. Eat some vegetables out there, or, or else you might die. Remember to leave it to the professionals to do dumb things like this. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Until next time, you guys have a good one, and stay safe out there this Halloween. <laughs> have fun, eat some candy. Not too much candy, though. Oh, so f I'm so I'm done. I'm done. Now, since I'm the cameraman, too, I gotta get up and, like, clean all this stuff up. Alright. All right, done. No, I'm really done for real. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God.